Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we're gonna do Aries. We're gonna do Aries. You're gonna see my face this week because people are snagging my content, um, which is, you know, fine. Spirit can handle that. Um, I like that they like my content and wanna snag it. I appreciate it, but it's as, right? So it's wrong at the end of the day. But uh, there's that. Um, what else was I going to say? I had something at the tip of my tongue. I'm not going to read stories anymore. Okay, I had enough of that garbage. People don't want to take care of their own shit. I'll take care of it for them. We'll get you guys moving. All right, so let's just do Aries week three. Okay, June 2021. Aries. 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 And if you hear clinking, Sheldon's just walking around. Okay. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Empress. We have the Knight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Pence. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands, Empress, Knight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Knight of Pence. Sorry, my back is rocking all of a sudden. So there's definitely destined and fated events happening this week. You have the wheel here, okay? Um, some of you have multiple, might have multiple men in your life right now. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Knight of Pence. It could be the same energy. This is somebody who it's it's desirable energy. Um, it's quick. Somebody is in and out. It could be like a, a player type energy once in a while. It is going towards the Empress. I will tell you an Empress won't play with that. We have the Knight of Swords. So we have somebody who's, you know, keeping an eye out, watching. This could be somebody who wants to deliver a message, but might be worried about what other people think with people in the background there. We do have an energy that is stressing out. There is an energy here that wants to offer something, deliver some type of message. I don't know if you're questioning whether it's good enough, if it's the right approach. Could be having sleepless nights, tossing and turning here with the Nine of Swords, anxiety. You definitely want to deliver a message. You definitely want something to go in your direction. You know, you are Aries. It talks about leadership. So it's like wanting to take the lead. You're stressed out on how to communicate here, how to offer, how to approach, because you do want something to go in your direction. Could be multiple women here too, fantasies. I see you're more, more focused on one. You're dealing with somebody who's strong and independent, knows their self-worth, very nurturing, very reliable, very stable. The Empress, you know, does it all. You're looking at somebody as an Empress. You could be dealing with somebody who's an entrepreneur. You could be dealing with somebody who's a mother. You could be dealing with somebody who is just capable of that energy or all of the above. Try not to be stressed out. Try not to stress out. I, I, it's like you're worried about how something's going to go down. It's like something sour here.
The Knight of Pens is a, a wonderful knight. It turns into the King of Pens, right? It's reliable. It's stable. It's the only knight in the deck that knows exactly what they want. It's just trying to figure out how to do it. So you definitely have strong masculine energy here wanting to approach a woman. All the masculine energy that's in these cards, I will tell you, is not even looking at the feminine. So I don't know if it's like intimidating. The Wheel of Fortune talks about faded destined events, right? The wheel turning, the karmic wheel turning, getting out of karma, going towards dharma. But I do feel like there's a little fantasy here. There's a lot of desire. Let's see which animal you are dealing with for Aries. The Cobra. <coughs> oh, bless me. Thank you. All right, so again, another fire sign. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or this is just um, you as in fire. Okay, pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. The cobra represents a teacher of spiritual guardianship. The cobra hovers and watches over the present, over protecting and over loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within, deep within us with the form of the inner teacher and manifests internally and those special guides who led us along the way in our path. What would it feel like if you were the student again? Question mark. What are you ready to learn? Question mark. Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When you're in balance, it's the student of life, humble and wise and willing. When you add a balance, balance you're a know-it-all. Okay. And to bring it into balance, it's, it's study. So again, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So it's like, this is, you're questioning yourself. Are you ready? Are you not ready? I don't know if someone's taught you a lesson here. If you're trying to teach someone a lesson, prove a point. Like I wouldn't go about it that way if that's the case. To me, it's like learning yourself. It, it's something new. It's like destined and faded events. Something's meant to come together. which is basically your path. So again, I don't know if you were in and out of someone's life, desire. The Knight of Wands is somebody in and out, doesn't stick around or or sticks around is pretty persistent, persistent, but doesn't doesn't go nowhere, doesn't do anything, stays stays in the same, you know, desire. So I see that it's like searching or wanting something more solid. You know, a little stressed out over it. Um, wanting to wanting to deliver a message but how to go about it so wanting to learn wanting more so remember the old saying when the student is ready the teacher will appear so like I said it's pausing waiting but this is this isn't pausing and waiting so maybe you've been pausing and waiting because that would make sense because the wheel is now turning. So now it's like you don't want to pause. You don't want to wait. You don't want to lose. You want to go after it. I, I, it's like what I see here is more of, I wouldn't say it's apprehension. It's, it's, it's delivering something the right way. But try not to overthink. You've already done that. You've already been in that energy. And I don't think it's one of those act now, think later. Because that expression just came to me too. I think that was already someone's, I almost said like mantra, which is not very like great. It's just, you know, in and out, like, 
It was the last passion. Just looks like there's a masculine here that's more or less wary about how to approach offer. It's like there's an old soul here though. Like you're being guided. Like this isn't you. This is the teacher. This is the spiritual guardian. So, I mean, there's a new path clearly because the, the wheel is turning. So if you're ready to learn, it's, it's like the saying. Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So when you're ready... Something will turn in your favor because your first card out is the wheel, right? So I'm going to pull you one more card because this isn't you. This is spirit or an ancestor or a guardian, someone looking out for you. So Aries, please. Whoop, whoop. Phoenix, all right? It's, it's a beautiful card. You might be dealing with a Taurus. You know a Taurus woman here. But this is Major Arcana. Okay. So this is the Rise of the Phoenix. This is a new transformation. It's, it's a new life. Like you can have it if you want it. This is an, also an obstacle being overcome, which is phenomenal. Okay. So it's freedom from suffering and past karma. Could be reincarnation for some of you, but it, it's, it's more freeing past karma. The Phoenix represents a transformation of our past. It doesn't mean... Running from it, denying it, or burning bridges with rage. The phoenix employs an advanced technique described, which can also be in yoga, but it's, it's the burning of the impurities through practice and dedication. The essence of the phoenix is with us when we realize we've been suffering for way too long and something must change. We take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the unconscious minds of a list of fears. At this moment, you have the spark of the phoenix and it is lit. It is a great it is a great bird that helps us burn through our baggage that we no longer need and you should no longer run from because it's not who we are. What has happened to us or what we have done, the stuckness and the dead weight falls into ashes and lightness and gives clarity and is ready to emerge. As the stagnancy continues to smolder, the phoenix lifts our spirits up and up. We begin to recognize ourselves again. And we watch the glimmer in our eyes that wasn't there before. Look closely. This is a sign of the fire of transformation is upon your wings. So you definitely, you have, a, you, there's, there's guidance here. Okay, this is a rebirth. It's a transformation. If you felt stuck, this is releasing old karma. This is letting something go. This is the wheel turning in your favor. It's extremely positive. It's something that's faded. Um, there's a lot of desire towards somebody wanting to reach out, hesitating. So you've definitely been stagnant. You've definitely been carrying weight you shouldn't have been carrying. You're overthinking. So please, please stop. Again, it's, it's like that old saying it is you're being guided, you know, when it, I forget the saying again, we just, what was it? When the teacher is, when you're ready to learn, the teacher will appear, that's what it is, right? When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So when you're ready, you know, that it, it will appear. It looks like you're here. It's like spirit's just kind of like watching you, like, come on, let's go. Let's, let's turn this wheel. So this is past karma. The wheel does talk about karma, right? So this is kind of like Dhamma. This is great. Okay, so this is deciding to do something consciously instead of being driven from the unconscious. And a lot of people don't even realize they're working with unconscious energy, okay? Which has a lot to do with fears, all right? But um, this is a spark you're going to get. You know, this is, this is the bird that helps you burn through old baggage and karma that you ran for and didn't want to address. What's happened to you, being stuck, dead weight, you know, all that's fallen into ashes. So that's good. And clarity is coming. So if you're stressing out, try not to stress out. You know, take action. This is, you got two cards. This is ready. You're being guided. The, the wheel, something's going to go in your favor. You know, again, this is freedom from suffering and past karma. 
All right, so it's beautiful. I hope you guys have a kick-ass week. Bye, guys.